but this isn't right. The bricks outside can't be gone. I mean, we just got married. And they took my wallet! Pixar is a digital animated movie studio that was directed by Pete Doctor and John Misconduct, and since the mid-80s has not only produced groundbreaking work that would influence computer graphics and film for the rest of time, but has also crafted many a brilliant film at the same time, some of my favourites being Toy Story 2, The Incredibles, Brave, Coco, and Ratatouille. Ah! Yes, just like with DreamWorks Animation Studios, the very second that Pixar saw any ounce of success, which just so happened to be with their first ever movie, the video game tie-ins were sure to follow, ready to milk all of the kids. Actually, no, no, that sounds really bad. Don't milk kids. Even better, at the end of the game, you get to chase down and stop Kevin Spacey from touching everyone inappropriately. To infinity and be- This is more frightening than any horror game I've ever played. Play the game! Well, that was horrible, wasn't it? Get ready, everybody, for Toy Story on the Zizzle. Yeah, the Zizzle. Oh! 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 Why did you do that? Oh! You well, you know what? This was worse. But better graphics or not, God help me, it doesn't do much for Scare Island. Water News looks like a raisin, and Sully here has more teeth than face. Welcome to Monsters Incorporated! Bugger! I think I made the wrong choice. I wonder what happens if you pick Sully. Hey, hey, I'm the monster! Oh, you are? I didn't notice. The game itself is kind of like a Mario 64 collectathon mixed with Ape Escape, but for babies. You run and jump around, attack enemies, and collect this stuff called ooze in order to fill up a meter. After you've filled it up enough, you then go on the hunt to catch these robot children. Thank the Lord we're not hunting real children. To be fair though, it is funny once or twice to see some of the final scaring animations. <laughs> In fact, while we're here, was I the only person in the world that thought it was completely backwards in the movie that Sully was considered the scary one and Mike was considered the funny one? This thing is freakish. Why aren't kids scared of him? Look at him! The worst that Sully can do in this game is... Okay, fair enough, he's pretty scary. The facial animations aren't the only things I'm not too sure about on the production value, though. It's all over the place throughout the game. Check out these water physics. It looks like they're trying to escape the game. You're more of a challenge than I thought. Yeah? Well, you're more tooth than I thought. Why would you want to do that? Oh, what did I eat last night? You've already got a kite, Caddy. I'm here. You're not what I had in mind. Fly me, cats. Fly me. Can you please calm down? I need wind. Well, what do you want me to do? Blow on you? Please, anything will do anything! I just want to feel alive again! Oh no! The kite turned into Finding Nemo on the GameCube! Start the game off with a cutscene from the movie featuring a child physically assaulting his father. Come on, this is cool. And then we get to swim around like nothing ever happened. It's just our little secret. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm obnoxious. Hey there, Nemo. Nice to meet you. I'm a twat! This game takes you through the events of the movie in a style very similar to the underwater segments from Crash 3. In fact, Finding Nemo in this sense reminds me a lot of the Shark Tale game. Except it doesn't make me want to kick my dog. Look you are now dreaming. Nice, isn't it? Wanna know why? Because this dream is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Just go to the description below to expressvpn.com forward slash caddy and you can find out how to get three months of this incredible service for free. Yes, for free. You can pretend that you're in freezing cold Canada for three months. Actually, Speaking of freezing cold... You also get to crush people under steel girders in a kid's game. Let's take a look and see what's on the other side. Oh, don't worry, Elastigirl, I know what's on the other side. Your husband's deconstructed face! Did you know that before the Incredibles 2 movie released in 2018, there was another Incredibles 2 that was actually treated like the official canonical sequel to the original movie, called Rise of the Underminer, for the Xbox. Look, I personally love the movie, but no matter how you felt about the sequel that we eventually got, I think Dog Sick would have been better than this game. But hey, at least we get to play as Frozone this time, which is great because he finally found his super soup! It's, it's raining boulders! Keep moving! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna apologize to Crash of the Titans. I'm sorry. I thought that you were the most mind-numbing and tedious button masher I've ever played. But this? 
This is a stain in the pants of God! The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. Why the hell is this game even called that? The Underminer never goes above the ground. He doesn't rise in this game. This should have been called The Incredibles Compass. <laughs> Who cares? Because now we have an Xbox 360 game based on a movie where two female cars flash their headlights. <laughs> Rated E for wet. Contains no sex. Oh. <laughs> JESUS ROADKILL! What the hell, game? You said there was no violence! Well, hey, at least I can crash into Mater. That's all I've ever wanted to do. Ah! And it makes you wonder, how does this rusty tub of crap move this responsibly, and yet the car whose job it is to drive around in circles can barely turn left? Am I doing something wrong here? Please teach me. Oh. Nope! The game is just a stupid floppy, so I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna leave right now before I go mad and kill someone. Somebody explain this to me. How does this guy, an ancient grieving pensioner, jump around like he's on a trampoline, climb up the sides of cliffs and Indiana Jones' his way across vines, yet he walks around like a crooked spider hungry for a dead bird? I'll get your hopes up, kid. That rotten wood is never gonna be a canoe. Which is why I'm going to use it as a canoe right now. <laughs> Jeez, my god, when did this game turn into a government warning about steroid abuse? How is Carl doing this? This is ridiculous. I can practically hear his spine mangling. I'm done. This game is way too dull for me, so I'm stopping. Sorry, Up, you made me feel down. Da 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 bad joke! Ah, shut up. It was a better joke than naming your movie after a pun. Ratatouille. You get it? Cause he rat- Gotta carry on though, so let's just do that. I'm being shown how to carry and place items now, that's pretty neat. The peppers explode! Where the hell am I? What kind of illegal weapon smuggling is this woman up to? Why do her slippers look like Christmas ham? And why does Remy look like Oliver Twist? Please, sir, I want some more. More? Hey, over here! <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm convinced now. This old bag has some kind of gang operation running. A rat this size heading towards a window that fast would break it. Which must mean this is bulletproof glass. Why does she need it? Christ almighty, that's why! She's a murderer! She sells exploding peppers on the black market and buries snitches in her garden! This farm kingpin needs to be locked up! Collect enough of these items and you'll be able to open a tall mission. Oh cool, thanks for letting me know. Collect enough of these items and you'll be able to open a tall mission. Yeah, don't worry, I heard you the first time. Collect enough of these items and you'll be able Are you gonna say that every time I pick up a couple of these things? Collect enough of these items. There's 100 of them! Who programmed this? Fantastic. Real good fun. <sighs> <gasps> Where's my gun? The intro cutscene for Cars 2 shows us a rip-roaring chase sequence that's a funny, fun, fun, fun time for the whole family, and it ends with a cute little crash where a group of cars pile on top of each other and explode. Cars 2 begins with literal car genocide. They have thoughts and feelings, they have souls, and they are dead now. Their eyes are part of the tunnel. I was gonna pick Luigi for my playthrough here, seeing as, for some reason, he's faster than most of the other literal professional racing cars, and yet looks like an old shoe. In the end, though, I went with Lightning, because I think he'll kill me if I don't. You also get races that allow you to use items and power-ups, missiles, oil slicks, and bloody machine guns. What happened here? Cars 2, of all things, arguably one of the worst 3D animated movies ever made, ended up with a good game. I'm sorry, news of the world, you earned that pun. That pun is correct. Recycling? No! I kid you not, Cars 3 is the same game as Cars 2, but just better. How is Cars, of all the Pixar franchises, doing this? It's almost like these bad movies about multiple cars were made as an excuse only to make merchandise. And 12-year-old me agreed. Like all good things, unfortunately, they must eventually come to an end. So, let's just move away from Cars for one goddamn second, and instead take a look at Wall-E on the Xbox 360. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, it's Cars again! <laughs> The first thing you see in this game is Mater himself with his face right up to the camera and his tongue sticking out. Remind me why anybody asked for this game? Oh, don't worry, I know. Oh no, watch out. Rex, what are you doing here? You're in the wrong game. Did you try and escape the zizzle? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, wall! Did you- did you destroy the earth? Was this your fault? Stop looking at me like that, where's Wally? It's your game that we're playing. Oh, uh, oh god, I've angered him. No, I'm, I'm sorry, Wally, please don't look at me like that. Don't shake, don't give me another chance. Disassemble, dead!
a good day sir i'm michael factory and i'm here to sell you a door i have a door you knocked on it oh yeah have a ds game instead <gasps> oh ratatouille a rifle so by playing this game i must ask am i brave or stupid. Well, I can tell you one thing at least. I've seen this bloody lamp bouncing on this bloody letter so many times now that I wanted to fall through the floor. <laughs> and I genuinely am not fooling around when I say this is a really damn good kids game, and I think you should. Oh, this game has Connect on it. <laughs> you scamp! Before we get into the game, can I just say one thing? I never watched this show, but the movie Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, as far as a cheap spin-off goes, I really like. It's pretty funny, actually. Out of the planet of widows and orphans! You fiend! There he is! <laughs> I knew that would get him. And appropriately, the video game tie-in is also making me laugh, but not in the right way. Night here could handle this one in hypersleep. Ooh, bye. And after all of this, the bosses usually amount to. Absolutely brilliant. Why don't we end this marathon off with a quick look at Toy Story 3 on the 360, which, by all accounts, is one of the best Pixar games ever made. What? Yes, Woody, I know. I couldn't believe it either. You also get to toe punt all of the orphans. <laughs> Seriously, what is it with kids' games and being able to assault other kids? And look, you're even told specifically how to drop kick all of the children. <laughs> what is wrong with this game? And can I order more copies of it? Oh, looky here. It's Stinky Winky Poo Pants Pete. This is for all the trouble you gave me in Toy Story 2, you bastard. <laughs> I would have loved this game as a kid, but now I'm an adult and completely miserable, so I'm gonna stop. At least I can do the one thing I've been desperate to do since the movie came out, and smack Lotso in his stupid face. 